New tonight, a Maryland senator introducing a bill that would create an alert system for when people with special needs go missing. This after a Montgomery County man with Down syndrome wandered off from his group home and disappeared for six days. Fox 5 Sierra Fox joins us live from Silver Spring tonight with the details about this proposed legislation. Sierra. Good evening to you, Angie. We'll get into that in just a moment, but let me remind you, this is where Rashawn Williams was found here at the Glenmont Metro Station after missing for nearly a week without any food or water. His story struck a lot of chords. That's why now his family is fighting for change by advocating for people with special needs. It makes me feel great because my, my concern is the next family. They shouldn't have to go through the ordeal that my family went through as far as not knowing if he was dead or alive. Take a look here. Montgomery County Police releasing this surveillance video back in October 2023 showing Rashawn Williams wandering around the Glenmont Metro Station. You can see he is even trying to go through the turnstile as people walk by. Williams is a nonverbal man with Down syndrome, so he had difficulty communicating with people that he was lost. That's why his parents are working with lawmakers to create an alert system for people with special needs so they have a voice. The bill called Public Safety Missing Persons with Cognitive Impairment Purple Alert Program has been introduced in Maryland for people ages 18 to 60 with intellectual or developmental disabilities. It would be similar to an Amber Alert that's for missing children and Silver Alert that's for missing elderly people. I spoke with Senator Arthur Ellis, who is sponsoring the proposed legislation. In order to notify the community, Maryland State Police would use billboards and phone alerts to push out messages as well as photos to make people aware to keep an eye out for the missing person with special needs. Well, it's very important the, uh, that the legislation passes because we have vulnerable, vulnerable individuals who are in our society who are not covered by any alert system, individuals who cannot fend for themselves like uh, Richard Williams, and um, they might get lost or missing, and we have no way of using our technology, our dynamic technology, to help find those individuals in prompt manner. Now, the National Down Syndrome Society sent Fox 5 this statement saying NDSS is committed to working with legislators and Rashawn's family to ensure that we enact and enforce laws that protect individuals with disabilities when they go missing. We applaud Rashawn's family for their advocacy and dedication to making sure the gaps in the system experienced by Rashawn are never experienced by anyone else. Tomorrow, Rashawn Williams' father will be in Annapolis to testify in the hopes that this bill gets to Governor Wes Moore's desk. If he ultimately signs it, the Purple Alert program will go into effect October 1st, 2024. Back to you.